Uh, this video is how to make a smear from a liquid specimen and from a culture plate. I've placed my slide on top of the incinerator to get the bottom nice and warm. Uh, that's because on the underside of my slide, I'm going to draw a circle for each of my smears. This helps me focus on the correct place on my slide. On the reverse side, I'm going to label with my patient name and what is on the slide. In my top circle, I'm going to put a broth. On my bottom circle, I'm going to uh, put an organism from my solid plate. Uh, your labels may change just depending on what you're working with. So to uh, make a smear from a liquid culture, you can either use a drop from a pipette or you could actually use two loopfuls made from your loop. For today, I'm going to use a sterile pipette using my aseptic technique. I'm going to remove my pipette from its packaging. And all you need is a drop. Before you aspirate your drop, of course, you want to make sure the lid's on tight and you want to invert your broth. And just place a drop and then smear it out to cover the entire circle, target circle. lid back on your bra and dispose of your pipette. Now with uh, cultures from uh, solid plates, you need to have some kind of a liquid for the organisms to get resuspended in. So you can either use a drop of thioglycolate broth, but the best thing to use is some deionized water. So the easiest way is to put a couple of drops in an empty petri dish so you're not putting your loop inside the deionized water and contaminating your water. First, before you uh, do any work with your needle, you want to incinerate the tip, making sure it gets red hot. Allow it to cool. Once it's cooled, you're gonna transfer a, approximately two drops of your water to the correct circle. At that point, you can obtain a bit of your culture. Make sure you wait for your loop to cool before you touch the organism. Just need a very small amount. And you want to resuspend it in your target circle and spread that drop around the entire circle. Once you're satisfied, you want to incinerate your loop and set your slide to the side to be air dried. Once it dries, you should see a very thin film. Uh, of course, it's not dried quite yet, but based on the thickness of the film, you should have a good idea whether or not your smear is going to be thick or th too thick or too thin.